Hello everybody, I'm your host T. Welcome back to Serene Queen TV. Today I am here to talk about Drake. Yes, another one that might get, you know, some people uh, panties in a bunch, but I think you guys kind of agree on a, um, some of the stuff I'm gonna say. So just comment below, tell me how you feel, like, share, subscribe, and go to the description and check out the website and uh, follow me on social media. So let's get into it. I think Drake's music has also declined too. I talked about this in the video I did yesterday. I think he's a bit artistically tapped out. I think his music has declined. Um, and I have some notes. So I don't think he's musically evolving. Some people say the decline started around Views, but I don't think so. I think Views was a good album. I think the decline started around More Life. More Life wasn't a bad project either and was a nice follow-up to view sonically given the Caribbean and UK influence, but more life could never be thank me later or take care. And that's what I'm really gonna talk about overall with Drake. I think part of Drake's downfall has been going the rap route because as I'm like taking notes on him, I'm like, yeah, like Drake totally used to be like our R&B and rap guy. You know, he started out with more of an R&B edge. He started out singing more. The music was more emotional. The music was, you know, he was kind of giving John B. -ish. And like Drake was rapping, like even when he first, um, you know, debuted, but he definitely sang a lot more. And that's kind of why people in the game were giving him some issues. Like some of the other rappers were giving him issues because they were like, is this a rapper or a singing nigga? And I think that, you know, his peers did like kind of peer pressure him or bully him into going more of the rap route. But what I think Drake failed to realize and like in the beginning of his career, it seemed like he was kind of thinking along these lines of, no, like the women love me singing, the women love my music, this is how I'm getting women, you know, being vulnerable and emotional and singing and making a little bit of a softer R&B sounding music. Um, you know, Drake kind of seemed to like be following that, you know, logic, but I think just around a certain time, he just got tired of being bullied. I think some of the fiasco shit with Chris Brown, you know, led to him kind of feeling like his masculinity was in question. I kind of noticed that with Drake. I feel like people have kind of like just always tried to, I guess, fuck with his masculinity and his manhood. And I think that when that is challenged, like he kind of goes like full on like rap mode and like rapper and really trying to assert himself as tough and manly. And it's like, okay, you know, I'm not a man. Like, you know, they have to do things to assert their dominance. They have egos to protect. And, you know, especially as a guy who raps, you know, he definitely has a reputation and an image and all of this to protect, you know, and it's not just for his peers. It's also in front of the world. But um, I think some of those guys who were, you know, having a problem with Drake, especially Kanye, as talented and multifaceted as Kanye is, you know, he really was jealous of Drake and they had a lot of dudes in the industry, you know, even Jay-Z himself and, you know, many others who just had, you know, DMX, who had a Drake problem. And just like a lot of people had a Nicki, you know, issue. They just couldn't fuck with Nicki. And one thing I like about Nicki over Drake is Nicki doesn't seem to really give a fuck about being liked, whereas Drake does. And I think Drake kind of like caring about what people say and kind of caring about how his peers felt about him just led him to like make certain like artistic choices and career choices. And, you know, he's the one that has to live with them because I'm not really feeling a lot of his latest projects. And I mean, people still listen to Drake. You know, I do think he gets a lot of payola in his streams because I don't, you know, hear him around town like I used to. And if I do hear people listening to Drake, they're listening to older, you know, music. They're not really listening to new releases. And, you know, a lot of people do like this Her Loss, though. But, like, that never, that honestly never mind shit and that certified lover boy, I don't really hear that around. But, you know, rap and trap and, 
ops music is in right now. So there are people who are going to give him, you know, the time of day with the her loss. I'm not a big fan, but I'm going to go into again with the, the music decline. A lot of it I'm not really feeling because lyrically it's just not hitting. Um, I do think Drake is a good writer, but I do know that Quentin Miller is missing a leg over allegations and over things that were said. So it's just like, okay, like, you know, you write Drake, but, um, it seems like you, you know, you still get you some, some help and that is what it is. I just hate that people have to get hurt, but I think part of why, um, I guess some of Drake's own bars or his own shit or whatever is not hitting is just because his lifestyle is, seems to be very stagnant. You know, his music is usually about love and relationships and really not even love, just flings and situationships. You know, he promotes a lot of that escort Instagram relationship culture. You know, people online love that shit. And he promotes a lot of that. And, you know, the shit is draining. You know, fucking with Instagram models and escorts is draining. They drain you of your energy, um, laying down with a bunch of people. I'm just saying, this is a, this is a real thing. Like a lot of these artists, you know, just especially these male rappers and male artists, they, their music, you know, they're already living a low vibrational lifestyle, but because they're living that lifestyle, the music is not going to evolve. They're giving their energy to a lot of different people, to a lot of different places. And, you know, crime and drugs and it's just like it just your music ain't ain't really getting good like music is something is something that comes from within so if you live in foul have fun making shit that is again gonna at least evolve and change and like music is supposed to for the better you're, you're supposed to um, make progress not digress so my that was just my opinions about him sonically um, I think a lot of, again, the people who were jealous of Drake for singing were just mad that they couldn't sing. Um, you know, Kanye can't sing like Drake. People think Kanye really can't even sing. I think he has a decent, he has a somewhat of a little singing voice, but Drake, if he really, if he really did what he was supposed to do, he could really be serving us vocals. He could have single-handedly replaced R. Kelly and Jay-Z because Drake can rap. And he can sing. Like, I really wish he would serve us vocals more, you know, and really, really get into his singing bag because he could have replaced R. Kelly and Jay-Z. But he's really let a lot of the other R&B guys come up. Um, and he's really wanted to just brand himself in that rap lane, especially with constantly making collabs with Future and helping a lot of emerging artists uh, or emerging rappers via Features, which has just really solidified Drake in that rapper category, you know, helping Lil Durk, helping Lil Baby, helping Trouble, helping Black Boy, helping a, I mean, a ton of people. The list goes on and on. Drake, yo, the ruler. The list goes on and on of Drake really um, just working with a ton of up and coming rappers. And again, like doing, move, making moves like that solidify you as a rapper, especially if you're not singing on the, on the music. If uh, I really would have liked Drake to kind of just go more of the R&B route, continue to go the R&B route, and make some collabs with R&B guys. Um, it would be nice if he did a collab with Jacquez. You know, um, Drake did no guidance with Chris Brown and let Chris Brown take over the fucking vocals. When Drake can damn self could fucking sing. You know, Drake got a beautiful voice. That's what really made me start listening to Drake. I heard Drake's voice one time on the radio when he first came out, and I've been listening to him ever since because he has a great voice. His rap voice is great. His singing voice is great. Like, he's very blessed. But, um, yeah, he just wants to be a rapper these days. And I think, again, him going the rap route has really darkened up his vibe, darkened up his image. Um, it seems like when he was making R&B music, the music was more about being in relationships. He was talking about specific people that he was with. Whereas when he's rapping, the music content is just giving like tired ass flings with escorts, you know, real city boy music. I'm not feeling it. Um, and again, it just gets tiring as a listener because it's not changing. I don't want to hear you talk about a harem. Like, I don't live that kind of lifestyle. I don't live a polygamous lifestyle. So I'm not interested in my favorite male artist or any male artist continuing to talk about 
dogging women out, you know, fucking with build a body checks. I'm just like, not interested in hearing like I see enough of that lifestyle on social media just because it's so promoted. I don't I'm not interested in like listening to music that continues to promote fluid out like relationships, especially from the male perspective. Um, I can't even really keep up with city girls like that because it's just, I'm not living that lifestyle. Like I'm not an escort. So the music that Drake has been making lately, like with his, his new, like kind of, he has a real like soul snatcher energy about himself. It's real dark. It's real, you know, low vibrational energy. And his music is about ops and murders and self boasting and women and, you know, just all of these just all of this mess and a lot of the music and stuff is just coming off real bitter you know I definitely think Drake is a bit bitter he seems to be bitter that you know he's a baby daddy by a corn star you know he ruined everything with Rihanna I'm sure he feels the type of way that you know like a lot of people uh you know she messing with you know somebody that's not on my level nigga please I don't know. I mean, Drake Drake comes off like he's very bitter about a lot of stuff because of the lyrical content. The lyrical content is just giving immature, misogynistic, and just hurt little boy. Like, Drake really, you could tell Drake hasn't grown up. And, you know, he's, again, he's a baby daddy. He's still not married. He's still not settled down. He's still fucking with, you know, Instagram thoughts. Like, and, and industry chicks and just running around like he hasn't grown up and the music hasn't grown up either people can talk shit about jay-z all they want but like jay-z has grown up so i don't know like i'm not here for a lot of this drake shit his latest um single search and rescue is a cry for help he's begging somebody to take him from the streets but it's like, Drake, you could have been settled down. You out here being a fucking city boy and fucking escorts. How do you expect to find real love? Hanging with a nigga like Future ain't helping you either. He's another nigga living a low vibrational lifestyle. So um, the lyrics of, you know, a lot of Drake's music, again, I don't want to listen to. Like, Her Loss, what, I like that song, Spin About You, but I'm not about to listen to that all the time. I don't like 21 Chromosomes. 21, he, that nigga can't rap. He ain't shit. 21, 21 Savage, 21 Chromosome, he ain't shit. Like, he, he slow, and he fuck with Lotto. Like, ew. Like, nigga, two slow people. Like, fuck that shit. So, I don't know. I think when an artist's life stops evolving, their work has a tendency to stop evolving, too, just because they have a lack of inspiration from something new. He was more popular, in my opinion, when he was making women, making music that women liked. Um, it would be great if he would, um, again, work with people like Jacquez and just maybe other people who were singing or even some of the R&B girls, but they're not really that great either. So let me, let me calm down, but I don't know. I wish Drake would continue to do some R&B shit. I wish he would have just, um, not really given a fuck about the other niggas coming at him because rap music is toxic and... Um, and maybe that's the role that Drake plays in the industry is just pushing the toxic agenda. But I wish that he would have been like Nikki and that he would have been like, yeah, fuck all the shit niggas is talking. I'm a just, you know, niggas can hate me because, you know, he went on an apology tour with some of these niggas. But I just wish Drake was like, no, like I'm a sing, I'm a rap, I'm a kill you niggas. And do what y'all niggas can't do. And y'all are going to have to deal. Like, I'm going to do both. And I'm going to do both very well. And I don't have to become some dark, you know, and dreary nigga to get it done. Um, as far as more projects that he's released, I think everything, again, after Dark Lane demo tapes was just like, I'll pass. Um, Certified Lover Boy had great beats. But childish and misogynistic lyrics. Um, I don't need the mom music of honestly never mind. And again, her loss, I'll take one song and you can keep the rest. So mm -hmm, not the same. I just wish I'm wishing Drake the best, you know, but artistically, I just don't think it's really there anymore. I hope that um, he will make a project of him just truly, truly singing his ass off. And just lighten up his energy a little bit. Um, start making some love music. Start making some R&B music. 
Other than that, I still love Champagne Poppy, but I'm just kind of tired of him right now. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Bye.